बिसमीम् अलकुम डर स्टूडेंट्स एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल विल बी फाइन एंड स्टेइंग एट होम सेफली आई एम योर सोशल स्टडीज़ टीचर ऑफ क्लास फोर फ्राम पी एम एस गर्ल्स टू इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट communication and transport in our book this is on lesson number 12 lesson number 12 communication and transport is on page number 82 83 and 84 so first we are going to discuss the first part of this lesson that is communication now dear students what do you think what is communication so communication means ways of keeping in touch with someone else we can communicate with any one person by speaking by writing and by making different signs through this we can get the information about anything so what do you think what is the meaning of information information means knowledge about something we get and deliver the information all the times in many different ways this information is very important because when we get this information in a very positive way or in a very negative way so it's affect our behavior with the other person there are many different ways by which we can communicate with anyone in the country or outside of the country there are some means of communication we are going to discuss number 1 communication system is post offices for an ordinary people the postal system is very good means of communication a letter can be sent to any part of the world you can even send money by sending the money order within the country through the post offices courier systems courier services also deliver documents or parcels okay so now the next way of communication is radio there are many radio stations in all over the world it is an important means of communication even we can listen the music news speeches etc on the radio okay now students here we have another way of communication that is newspaper by this mean of communication we get news from all over the world okay now in our country pakistan newspapers are published in a uh, urdu english punjabi and other lo local languages the another way of communication is telephones now from pakistan you can make a telephone call to any other person that is living outside of the country with latest technology cellular or mobile phones are now very popular even the smaller computers that fit in your hands that are called the 
tablets. This is the picture of the tablet. Now another way of communication is television. Television is used for the purpose of entertainment, education and news programs. Another way of communication is email. Now this is the last way of communication with someone and this is <clears throat> a very modern and the quickest means of communication. Through computer or mobile you can send the messages from one computer user to one or more users. Email has become increasingly more popular. Okay dear students, now we are going to discuss about the topic transport. Now you tell me that what does the word transport means? <clears throat> dear students, transport means carrying people and goods from one place to another. Right? Okay. Now, here we have the three main transportation system in our country. So, they are roads, airways and shipping. First, we are going to discuss about roads. Many years ago, there were no roads and the people did not travel too much. As the time passed, people began to work on the roads, right? Okay, first Roman Empire made the roads for extending their armies. So, when the time passed and the people increased, roads are then constructing very stronger and widely. Now there are many roads in all over the countries. Roads join all of our villages, towns and cities. The government also built motorway to provide fast travel without the traffic jams. Okay, now more and more people use bus transport service for traveling within the country. Why? Because it is cheaper than flying and faster than the railways. Okay, now roads reach almost all remote corners of the country. Okay. The trains carry goods and people from all over the country. In Pakistan, we have two types of trains that are passenger trains and goods trains. Passenger trains means people who are traveling in a public or a private are called passengers. Goods trains means the trains that are carrying different things or stuff they are called good strains. Okay, dear students, if we are talking about our country, Pakistan, so it has a 11,881 kilometers of roads. It is a network of 11,881 kilometers, right? Okay. Now, we are talking about airways. Airways is a route or a way that is followed by an aeroplane. It is also called the by air transport. In the year of 1955, Pakistan started its own airlines that is called PIA. 
The word PIA stands for Pakistan International Airlines. Today, Pakistan has more than 40 aircrafts. PIA also connects our country, Pakistan, with Asia, Europe, North America, and the Middle East. The, there are domestic airports in Pakistan. Domestic airport means the airports that handles the flights only within a country. Because domestic airports has not that much facilities to handle the flights from outside of the country. Okay, dear students. Now, here we have another means of transport and that is shipping. There are different kinds of boats using to carry things and people from one place to another. In early times, travel by sea was very common. Now, ships are used mainly to transport goods and cargo such as grain, oil and machinery. Pakistan's ships are run by the PNSC. PNSC stands for Pakistan National Shipping Corporation. Most of the ships are used for transporting different kinds of goods. In Pakistan, we have three large ports in Pakistan. That are Karachi port, Gwadar port and Mohammed bin Qasim port. Okay, dear students, now this is the end of the lesson. Stay home, stay safe. Goodbye.